welcome back to the Dustin Dean channel. I am Dustin Dean and today we are going to try to solve a problem at my mom and dad's house. What they have going on is bees in the hot tub and uh, they're coming here and they're taking a drink of water so we're going to try to retrain them and uh, to go to a different place. So, um, let me show you guys what the problem is here. So the bees are going to the side of the hot tub Right there, see that bee going in there? So they go there, and then they somehow get caught up in the water. They get caught and then they get sucked into the filter. I will show you the filter. We've emptied the filter once. And look at all them dead bees right there. See a dead bee already in there. What do they do? Is it pull out or twist? No, they screw up. What do they do? Yeah. What do they do once they go through there? Looks like more than that. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of some bees right there caught into it. Or a little bee. Okay, so part of our experiment, what we're trying to do, is we have um, this pan of water sitting right here, and it's got water, some um, lemon grass oil in it, a little bit of sugar, and so we're hoping that'll draw attention to the bees and train them to go to a different place. And I think what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a second uh, water station. Um, maybe closer to their hive. This is probably a hundred yards, fifty yards ish. Oh, look, bees come by to see it's working already. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on how to train the bees to find a different water source other than your hot tub or your neighbor's hot tub. Um, I think I think I want to try about 30 feet away from their um, hive. Oh wow, that's some dark pollen. Right over my shoulder right here is where the bees are in the hive and right over my other shoulder in this corner is where we're going to put the um, the feeder at and I believe in the future they're going to replace that feeder with like a, a bird bath feeder and so it'll be more permanent. So we'd like to train them to come to this area. It's away from uh, uh, where kids would play because over there we have a swing set where the kids are and then of course they don't want the bees where the hot tub is. So again, if anybody has any thoughts of what we should do, leave it in the comments section. It will be greatly appreciated. All right, and uh, let's show you how we're going to prepare the uh, pan of water. Okay, so this is kind of our makeshift uh, little feeding station here. It's a pie pan. Um, like again, temporary. We're going to get a bird bath set up here. But uh, this is the idea. You got to put some rocks in there and something that can float. So, because bees can't swim, and uh, you'd want them to climb up. If they fall in, they can climb up and out. Which is why they're getting killed in the hot tub, is they can't climb out, and they don't want to put wood and floaty things in their hot tub. So we found some pine cones, a little pie pan here. Is all you need, and we got some pine cones and um, some rocks, and we'll just try to keep it above that level. Uh, well, I just um, so that other one is what we built was just sugar, water, and some lemon oil. And this one, I got, I just bought it, it's bee feed. I bought it at a tractor supply. Your one-stop shop all, tractor supply. Just kidding. <laughs> They're not paying me. I wish they were. So they ought to. I have a question. What's your question? So, with, I'm sure other people will ask too, but um, lemongrass, what's the purpose of that? Is it's it? the scent, it's okay. the smell of it. They like the smell. 
It smells inviting. It smells good. I think it's supposed to mimic like the smell of um, of the queen as well. So it's a, it's I, I just like the smell. That's okay. as far as I can know. Oh, we just got a little bit here, a little bit of lemon. What do it taste like though? I always got to taste things. That tastes very lemony to me, and not so much sugary. Oh, oh like, yeah. Can I taste it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, not oh, you didn't want to dip your finger. I thought you want to taste what I had in my mouth. Oh, well, this is awkward. <laughs> taste it. Dip your finger in there. <laughs> you, or you want me to dip my finger in there and you taste it? <laughs> there, there, you want to taste it? <laughs> Definitely not going to get monetized. Definitely, you just now got our monetization pulled off. We're going to cut the commercial. Playing jazz. Playing jazz. Smoothie. Making smoothie. Calendar. No meetings today. Remember, dentist at 9.30. Fire off. Fire off. Open door. Door open. And we're going to do one more. Fire out. Open door. Wrong voice command. Open door. Wrong voice command. Open. Open door. Repeat that. Open door. I didn't understand that. Hey, open door. Play on the floor. Sink on the floor. I don't really like to do this without smoke. I forgot the smoker. Yeah. Oh, I'll try. If I get stung, scream like a little girl, then you'll know <laughs> how horribly wrong for me. Well, you are known for beekeeping without your suit on. Yes, but I don't like to be known for beekeeping without smoke. <laughs> so, what we're doing is we have no smoke. The bees are very active. This could go horribly wrong. As always, it seems like I say that a lot when I beekeep. Yeah. <laughs> Just, this isn't the... You guys remember this? We replaced this. This is nice and dry. Look at that. Oh yeah. Nice and dry. Look, they're in there thick eating that sugar up. Look at that. Yeah, they are. Eating that sugar. Maybe we ought to leave the sugar. Look at that. Huh. See how much they've ate of that sugar? Yeah. Maybe we gotta leave it. It's crazy. Let's leave it. Yeah, let's just leave it. Alright. They're eating it. So you guys gotta get out of there. Get, 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 get. Get, get. Okay. So, well, I was going to put sugar water in there, but I can see that they're eating the sugar really good. And then we've got a food source over there for them. They're bringing in pollen. I just don't see quite yet. I really don't want to tear into it without um, smoke. So I think I'll come back maybe next week with smoke. I just don't feel comfortable. Smoke is my um, armor. I'm invincible with smoke. Without smoke, I, this scares me a little bit. So if that kind of tells you the importance of smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give dad this and that's you're responsible for feeding the bees okay for the next month or so okay so that's my solution let me know what you guys think thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>